Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Those birds are just, it's just like a little salve for my soul every time you turn your microphone off on and I hear your little birds chirping in the background. Ugh. I always, I appreciate that you point it out because it helps me be more mindful. I think I've gotten to the place where sometimes it's background noise, yeah. which is, you know, and I, and I think just to take a moment to, to think about it, it's like, yo, I'm hearing birds constantly. I'm hearing, you know, the ocean constantly. Like that piece of it is just to remember that and to, and to be like, oh, that's a, that's a thing to be grateful for. Like, don't lose sight of the life that is all around you. Um, yeah. So thank you for pointing it out. I'm going to be paying yeah. attention to the birds today. Yes. Yes. How are you feeling? How are you doing? Happy Wednesday. Um, happy Wednesday. I'm doing well. I'm having, I'm having a good day. I got a really good night's sleep last night. Um, and I've just had an easy and productive day so far. Like it's, um, I'm feeling in a good, I'm feeling, I'm feeling very excited about these next couple of weeks, the next couple of months. I'm just, I'm coming off of a period of just like intense turnover at work and a lot, mm -hmm. a lot going on and sort of a lot to manage uh, and a lot of active projects that were all happening at the same time. Um, and so now it's one of those lulls where, you know, coming out of the last four to six months of that, having a, having a little bit more time, um, you know, and space to, you know, spend some more time reading during the day, um, spend some more time working on and pushing forward the projects that are exciting and important to me. Um, you know, and getting to uh, getting getting to work on my passions uh, for a little bit, like love being of service, love helping other people with their passions. One of those people that I love helping is also myself. And so I have to remember I have to remember that and put that into practice. But I'm feeling great today. How are nice. you? Um, I'm also feeling good. I'm I am. Yeah, I'm feeling the like buzzy energy of all the things that are kind of percolating all of the intentions and seeds that were set at the end of the year last year and all of that kind of moving and shaking right now. Um, and I think we talked about this on Monday, but like being able to hold all of these feelings in ourselves, like being able to hold the excitement along with just reality, like yep. all of the day-to-day -day stuff. Yep. Um, yeah. And I think it's, it's a fun it's a fun exploration of figuring out what it requires in order to be able to do all of the things that we want to do. Um, like you said, reading, like, you know what you're, you're starting to figure out, well, I think you've probably known for a while, but what your practices are that you need in order to feel like, okay, cool. I can, I can hang out in the intensity of this thing Yep. Um, and not feel completely drained. In, and in some ways it takes, because it's like I have known, but I haven't always uh, carried forth that, that knowledge and actually put it into practice. But then I think the other piece is realizing it's like, oh, that's how I have to design my life now. Where it's like mm -hmm. in the beginning of, you know, the pandemic and going into, you know, fall of last year, I, I got into that groove. I was doing it. I was like, oh, I'm going to read. I got like, I need this many hours in the day. I need this state of mind. I need this much quiet, you know, sort of all of this. And then I just haven't, I haven't been able to figure it out in the last couple of months. Like lost a couple of teammates at work. Okay. What does that look like? All right. Have an intensive period where a lot of clients need sort of day to day and hour to hour, you know, um, handholding. Yeah. That is the nice way to put it. Yes, uh, <laughs> which is not a bad thing. Because, well, let's 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 take that away. It's like having someone hold your hand does not mean that you are a child. It does not mean you're an infant who cannot cross the street. It just means you're a human being who needs some help, and yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. And I think yeah. we, you know, again, in a very individualistic society, we praise that. But right, yeah, I need I need to hold some folks' hand. Like sometimes yeah. I need my hand held. Sometimes I yeah. got to hold some folks' hand. But I think just realizing it's like, oh, I've got to get the help in my life that I need. I need to, whether it's putting some projects down, whether it's moving mm -hmm. some timelines, whatever it is, in order for me to have the time and space and the environment for the practices. The practices yeah. are non-negotiable. And this is the yep. thing that I think I've, I have 
finally realizing it's like knowing how my body felt, knowing how my mind felt, knowing how my soul felt when I was like taking the time I needed to do the things I needed to do and then sliding out of a circumstance and, and having to rebuild that and refine that. It's like that comes first and everything else has to be built around it because yeah. otherwise I can't do yeah. all the other things. Yep. Yeah. And so I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I think this time I've got it. I think this time, <laughs> this time, this is the time. This is the time. Uh -huh. And like, also there's, there's no shame in like falling off of the thing. Like the thing kind of like goes down the tracks a little bit on its side for a while and you, yep. until you can like write it back up and yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's just like, yeah, it's sometimes, sometimes you're riding the rails and it's the, there are sparks. <laughs> sometimes you're not quite aligned on the rails and there are some sparks, but just tip that thing. Just yeah. Tip it. Take a big deep breath and just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, so I I finished uh, Anatomy of the Spirit last night, the Carolyn Mace book that I, I think I've talked to you about for a little while. And I, I know I've talked about her. I, I love her. Um, so in the beginning of the book, she, she really talks about, and I, I love this framing of stepping into creativity because it just feels like it takes a lot of the pressure off of creating um thinking about creativity as walking into a desert and waiting for the spirit mm. to call you to call on you so aside alongside that i you know this is an exploration that we're on and that i'm really just it just feels like something to me um in thinking about creativity and spirituality mm -hmm. she also talks about if the goal is to awaken consciousness like if that's what we're trying to do and we can think about our creativity and the things that we're creating as a way to wake up consciously to become more conscious beings um i think that's a really exciting way to think about creating um can you say that again that yes. that resonated say that again yes so if the goal is to become more conscious beings how can we use our creativity and the things that we create to become more conscious beings. Yep. So another thing she talks about is when you're in the mystery, when you're in something and you're like, I don't know what this thing is or what I'm supposed to be doing or what the lessons are here, but I'm in it. And it's an opportunity to get curious and she goes through the whole chakra system, which is really fascinating and very interesting. But she says, when you find yourself back in the mystery, it's an opportunity to reset into the truth and really go back through your system and hold in each of these centers of your body what it is that you want to create. So going through your body with the intention of what am I supposed to learn here? Or what am I supposed to be creating here? Um, and letting that be something that drops you down and connects you into your body. So thinking about it first, setting the intention and then going through the chakra system, which is what we're going to do today in our meditation and locking it into each energy system in our body. I am here for this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So as we, as we stretch and we settle in, uh, think about what it is, you need right now like what is is it just simply truth like is that the thing that feels like if I can just align in what truth is throughout my body I'll feel supported to be open to the big mystery walking into the desert and saying spirit I'm here just use me as you want to 
Yep. Um, so yeah, that's that's what we'll be that's what we'll be working with today. Very excited. Very excited. Um, cool. All right. Well, let's um, let's stretch a little bit before we before we get into this. All right, sitting up nice and tall. Take a big inhale through your nose. Exhale, let it out through your mouth. Do that again, big inhale. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. This time as you exhale, drop your chin to your chest, keep your chest lifted, press your shoulders back and down and very gently start to roll your head side to side. Back to center, lift your chin, inhale, reach your arms up overhead. As you exhale, drop your right hand down, big reach up and out with your left fingers, stretch through your waist, your ribs, your armpit. Inhale, bend your elbow wide, open your chest. Exhale, round your spine, cross your wrist to your opposite knee. And again, inhale, open. Exhale, round. Two more, inhale, open. Exhale, round. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach your arms back up. Exhale, other side. Inhale, bend, open your chest. Exhale, round and cross. Again, inhale, open. Exhale, cross. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, release your hands to your knees, sitting cat cow, big inhale, lift your chest, reach your shoulders back. As you exhale, pull on your knees, round your spine, drop your head. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Last one, inhale. And exhale. And inhale, come back up to center, get yourself situated. When you're ready, close your eyes. Take a big inhale through your nose. Exhale, let it out through your mouth. One more big inhale. And exhale. And hold yourself, hold the intention that you have for this meditation. What is the thought or the feeling 
or the truth that you need to drop into your body. And as we move through the chakra system, just notice any thoughts, feelings, physical sensations that come up. Don't try to do anything about it or fix it. Just notice that it's there as we go. We're starting with the seventh chakra, the crown chakra, which is located just above the top of your head. Picture a violet light rotating around. And just listen to what the truth is that's coming from this chakra, this intention that wants to be dropped into your body. As you visualize this violet light rotating around. Now drop that intention down to your sixth chakra, your third eye, which is right between your eyebrows. Visualize an indigo light rotating around. And this time repeat the sound om. Om. Hold this intention right between your eyebrows. Now drop your intention down to your fifth chakra, your throat chakra. Visualize a blue light rotating around as you repeat the sound hum, H-A-M, hum. Now drop this intention down to your fourth chakra, your heart chakra, right in the center of your chest. Visualize a green glowing light rotating around as you repeat the sound yam, Y-A-M, yam. Drop down to your third chakra, your solar plexus, which is just below your rib cage. Visualize a yelling, yellow glowing ball of energy rotating around as you repeat the sound Ram, R-A-M, Ram.
drop down to your second chakra, your sacral chakra, chakra, which is just in your lower abdomen, below your navel. Visualize an orange glowing light rotating around as you repeat the sound VAM, V-A-M, VAM. Finally, drop down into your first chakra, your root chakra, which is located just at the base of your spine. Visualize a red glowing light rotating around as you repeat the sound LAM. And as you stay with this visualization, really feel yourself anchoring this intention and your body back into the earth. visualization of your entire chakra system from the root chakra all the way up above your head being fully in flow fully aligned with your truth call in any guidance you need to feel supported in this truth. Surrender to the source of this truth. Gently deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers and toes, waking your body back up. Bring your hands to prayer in front of your chest. Take a big inhale. As you exhale by your chin to your chest, acknowledging your inner teacher and staying connected to this ocean of truth always here. Namaste.